Hi gorgeous! Today's transformation requires no introduction. I'm going to be showing you how to transform into the iconic Audrey Hepburn. To begin this look, I'm applying Max Bisque onto the lid with the MAC 217 brush and dusting this lightly to cover the eye. Bisque is a light tan shade, a shade darker than my natural skin tone. It has been discontinued, but in its place you could also use Max Malt. And then I'm taking Max Wedge, which is about two steps darker than my natural skin tone, and using this eyeshadow to contour the socket line. If you study Audrey's eyes, they were not heavily packed with eyeshadow. The look was very natural and fresh. And then I'm taking a blank brush and using that to go over the edges of Wedge in the crease to smooth out any harsh lines. For the eyeliner, we're going with brown in this look. I'm using Inglot number 89 and pairing it up with a winged eyeliner brush from Sigma. I'm creating a small wing on the outer corner of the eye, and if you study Audrey Hepburn's eyes, they had a very small flick on the outer corners, but it was not large and dramatic. And then I'm lining the upper lash line with that same gel eyeliner. I'm not bringing this into the inner corners because if you look at her eyes, it wasn't brought in all the way to the inner corner. The inner corner was left bare. And this added to that wide doe-eyed look that she had. I'm also taking a brown eyeliner. This is Max Teddy. I'm loading up the MAC 263 brush and using this to softly line the lower lash line and smudge out that brown eyeliner. You want to define the lower lash line but not have a heavy application. And then I'm taking a nude eyeliner and very lightly tracing the waterline on the lower lash line and I'm also smudging this out a little bit. I don't want it to be too strong because her waterline was bright but it wasn't overtly done. And with Inglot's number 14 brow gel liner, I'm filling in the brows. Audrey had a very unique brow shape. Her brows were much thicker than mine, so I'm going to be drawing them in a little thicker than I normally would. And the shape was more of a straight line arch that extended out into the temple. You have to ignore your own brow shape for a little bit to be able to accomplish it, but it's a pretty simple one to draw. Audrey did wear false eyelashes, but they were not over the top, so I went with a pair of Ardell's Demi Wispies, and I also added some individual flares onto the outer corners to add to that doe-eyed look. And this really helps to lift the eyes and open them up. To accomplish the flawless complexion that Audrey had, I'm first applying a concealer. This is Max Pro Longwear in the shade number NC15, and then I'm applying a foundation over the top of that. This is from Chanel. It's their Perfection Lumiere in the shade Beige Rose number 12, and then I'm setting everything with a light powder from Laura Mercier. And after I have the face complete, I'm going back and adding some mascara onto the lower lashes. This is one from Chanel. Just can't do those lower lashes until the face is complete, otherwise it gets brushed away. And for Audrey's rosy pink cheeks, I'm going in with Tarte's Exposed Blush and applying this onto the apples of the cheeks and blending it outwards towards the temples. For the lips, Audrey had a pinky peach lip that looked like her own natural lip color. So to accomplish that unique color, I'm combining up two different MAC lipsticks, Angel and Shy Girl. For the hair that Audrey was wearing in Breakfast at Tiffany's, it was more of a high bun. So to get that kind of a look, I first put my hair up into a really high ponytail, and then I took about three sections, sectioned them out, and rolled them into curls, and pinned them on the top of the head there. And once I had all of these sections pinned together, I went ahead and blended them so that they became a cohesive bun. And if you do decide to go with a high bun, you can create it in any configuration that you want. This was the easiest for me. You could also use a donut roll to create the bun look on the top of the head. And once I had that all put together, I went back with some hairspray and a fine tooth comb and combed back all of the flyaways. And then to top it all off, I added the small tiara. I found this cutie on eBay. And I also added in the necklace, the earrings, and the long black opera gloves also purchased from eBay. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more like this in the future. And thank you so much for watching.